Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Christian's Crosses for Monday, March 25th, 2024, Monday of Holy Week. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from John chapter 12, verses 1 through 11. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served, while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfumed oil made from genuine aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then... Judas the Iscariot, one of his disciples and the one who would betray him, said, Why was this oil not sold for three hundred days' wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Gospel Reflection Pope Francis once said, Holy Week is a privileged time when we're called to draw near to Jesus. Friendship with him is shown in times of difficulty. Yesterday we began Holy Week, during which we reflect on the final journey of Jesus. Most of the people Jesus encountered on that final journey were hostile to him. Yet, according to today's Gospel, six days before the Feast of the Passover, during which Jesus was crucified, he experienced great kindness. Not only is he the guest at the table of a family that he loves, one member of that family, Mary, went to great expense to render him a very thoughtful service. She anointed his feet with very expensive perfume and dried them with her hair. A little later in the same gospel, Jesus washes the feet of his disciples. Mary, the sister of Lazarus, anticipates that servant gesture of Jesus. She gives herself to Jesus in a way that corresponds to how Jesus would give himself to his disciples and to all of us. Jesus interprets Mary's action as preparing him for his death and burial. At the beginning of the last week of his life, Jesus experienced great kindness from Mary of Bethany. What Mary did for Jesus, we're all called to do for each other. In her own way, she exemplifies the tender loving care that is so needed during these anxious times and which stands out as a light in the darkness. Mary shows us what it means to love others as Jesus has loved us. On our own journey through life, we may meet people who occasionally make our journey just a little more difficult. But we also experience people like Mary who support us on our journey, and hopefully we can be for others what Mary was for Jesus in this story, a kind and generous presence in a very often hostile world. And so today, let's pray and embrace this opportunity to draw near to Jesus, to deepen our friendship with him, and to emerge from this Holy Week transformed by his love.
We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.